So I'm going to go and virtual machine. I'm going to go free BSD. I'm just going to select the ISA image. And my time notes, I've gotten free BSD 13.2 release. I'm going to give it about six clicks of memory. I'm going to give it eight cores. I'll give it a 256 gig hard drive. I'm going to start about now. Okay, so we're going to boot into multi-user. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to install it. I'm going to continue the default key mapping because I'm in the US and using the US keyboard map. On this then, I'm going to call it VBSD WM and I'm going to make sure that we also have a course tree as well in case we want to install port software or additional software. Uh, I'm going to also install the uh, system store tree source and make sure that we have the two, two bit libraries installed as well. So, okay. How do you want to partition the hard drive? I'm going to uh, auto ZFS file system and let's take a look so it's we're really going to just try so let's try and put across the disks uh it's going to use gpt to start up two gigs for size we're not going to create any facts and mirrors or anything with the hard drives we're going to just simple install some of them uh just try to redundancy uh which hard disk call oh, virtual box hard disk and yes, generally these days it's turning mobile free SD, free BSD is becoming a lot simpler than it used to be. So I'm going to later find through uh, this portion. So, uh, yeah, so we need to change the group to password, we've got a password, so we're going to just do that. Of course, you won't see it. Uh, that's my magic interface, that's fine. Yes, we want just IP4, we want just DHCP, yes. And they would require it's DHCP release. That, yeah, and we don't want to use IP6 for this. And happy with the DNS servers. Okay, region, United States of America. I'm going to choose specific PDT, yes. Happy with the date. Let's skip that. Okay, so choose the services we want to start a boot. Secure SSHD. Last two point on the console. Synchronize the data time that's firing. Okay, choose security harming. I'm not going to do any of these, but this is one of the our uh, benefits of Spoiler are of using free BSD and the BSDs is you can easily harden them during the installation process. Uh, would I like to add a uh, user to install system? Yes. So I'm going to add the Garage user. I'm going to use a deep sub keyword. Blogging group Garage. Uh, Interbird groups. I'm going to let me add, add it to the real group, plug and post default shell. That's fine, default shell, home directory. Inter permissions for default, user based authentication, yes. I don't want an empty password. In this case, I'm not going to do a random password, I want to enter my own password. I right. don't want to lock the account. And I'm happy with these defaults, yes. Don't want to add another end user. Okay, so we've done all of these. So we're going to exit and we don't want to make any modifications right now. And we're going to reboot. And the log in. And we are, we have it installed. That is the quick way of how to install free PSD. So, how do we install KDE? So, let's say you want a graphical interface going on here. How do we do it? Well, on the free BSD KDE forum, they've actually got a great step-by-step uh, uh, -step process here. So, I'm going to do two things. Firstly, 
I actually need to shut it down first because I need to change uh, this to VirtualBox SVGA. So let's do that first. So I'm going to go settings. We go to display. I would change this to where it says VirtualBox SVGA. Okay, and start. Okay, so for this, I'm going to log in as root. And of course, I am now logged in as root, as you can see. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually install the KVE packages. So since this is a BSD, I'm going to do a package uh, install. So I'm going to do PKG install dash dash yes. And I'm going to say KVE5 Trasta 5 dash SDDM dash KXEM SDDM X. I'm going to need to enter. And now what it's doing is it's just updating the FreeBSD repository that it needs to do. And now it's going to pull down all of these uh, packages. So what we're going to do, we're first going to let it put on the packages. And once it's done that, uh, we are going to enable uh, the services. Okay, so the first portion is completed. So let us con continue with the next portion of installing KDE. So I'm going to allow to assist RC dbus underscore and Able this equal to yes, and ampersand service service space data start. Okay, start of dbus. Now I'm going to do sysrc. Share stdm enable. Yes, and one percent service STDM start enter and like magic is uh, KDE. Just to note, uh, we will be using X11 session, not uh, Island. And I'm first with the logging in, gonna do a quick restart. And automatically, you'll see from now on, KBE will start automatically. Remember, change it to X11 and to X11. You'll see that a FreeBSD 13.2 has been installed successfully. So yeah, folks, this is uh, the first video. I've just shown you how to install FreeBSD and uh, touch install KDE on top of it. Uh, next uh, video, if we come up, we'll go through how to install software from FreeBSD, as well as how we can fix uh, the error resolution on virtual bots. As always, folks, thanks for watching and leave your comments below. Bye for now.